Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here. Sorry I'm a few minutes late starting. I had a little bit of a problem um, getting connected and it was due to some sort of key that had changed and I hadn't changed it on my software. But it, we're all good now. So today I've got a photo here and this is, um, this is a photo that I took when I was in Buxton recently. And I'm going to do this in pastels in art rage so um let's get into it right here we go so here we are in art rage got my glasses on all's good got my pen got the photo on the screen and i have set up the um paper with the color i'm just going to adjust my chat screen so i can actually see when people say hello in fact i'm going to put a quick message in to everybody hi everyone yeah that's all good so i want to show you first of all how you can uh, change the settings of the paper when you are actually in the software or or you've already opened not in the software you've opened uh, your drawing so if we go to view it took me a while the reason I'm showing this it took me about half an hour to find this today because uh, I wanted to change the color after I'd created the file and it's dead easy you just go to view canvas settings and in there um, I click the color picker and I think I'm actually going to change the color while I'm here and go for more of a blue yeah that's I think that's or is it yeah I'm gonna go with that because when you use pastels uh, you're always drawing on a, a colored sheet of paper you buy a pastel pad and it's colored so it seemed to me uh, I farmer how you doing I watch it good to see you here um, so it seems to me that I should do they I should have a colored paper to work on when I'm in art rage so I'm just going to uh, choose I've, I've created a new um, toolbox today as well with just pastels in a couple of pencils and a, a nice um, soft eraser and a couple of um, I suppose you'd call them blending stumps they are actually in fact um, what do you call them <sighs> palette knives but i I'm really be using blending stumps uh, for this so that's what I'm calling them from now on so I'm going to go in with a pencil and I just want to sort of sketch in roughly what I uh, want to be doing so uh, uh, I'm good Jane thank you yeah I've had a good day a good weekend uh, I've been sketching all day which has been great made a couple of videos let's just make this a bit bigger and uh, yeah I've had a nice day all set for this very excited about this I've not used pastels in art rage on the PC before and I was surprised when I started uh, setting it up that it took me a while to get something that I liked change that color a little bit I thought I'd get something straight off, but I had to make my own um, variant of a brush. So this is going to be obviously the stone wall. I don't think I was going to get on today, you know. It's really, I've had a power cut, and um, it 
once I got the power back on, uh, my um, webcam stopped working, and that took me quite a while to get that up and running again. And I was thinking, oh no, can't do a live stream without a webcam. And then, um, like tonight, I was trying to connect. I tried about four times. Nothing was happening. I was thinking, oh God, this is uh, not going well. But as it happened in the end, it's all it's all worked out okay. I'm just sort of sketching in and in my uh, little fence there or gate I guess it is a wall there was a little bench there I'm not going crazy with the sketching and then the kind of stone wall just drifts off to there somewhat This place was great uh, where we went to in Buxton. It was so windy. I've got another video coming out. That, uh, again, I, well, I painted uh, a really stormy sky in Art Rage on the iPad. That'll be coming out maybe next week, perhaps. There we go. I don't have to put every um, branch in on the sketch. That's not required at all for this. Um, I'll put the eraser. There we are. The wind has done some weird things to these trees, I have to say. Right, I'm, it I'm itching to start using the pastels, so I'm sort of going at the right rate of knots with the sketch, trying to get that out of the way. Uh, I, I'm never going to get this name right, Orchster Mushti. <laughs> Sorry if that's wrong, I really am. Uh, uh, I'll try again. Orchster Mushti, Art, how are you doing? I know that's wrong, I just know that's wrong. So I think that will do for me sketch. Create a new layer. I think uh, I wonder if I can lock this. Yeah, I'm going to lock that layer. Try and remember to lock stuff as I'm going. Now, the, what really uh, amazed me out of the box, I was using these pastels, and if I choose, say, the light pastel, and um, I'll choose a light color that I'm going to use for the sky, and knock it up to 100%. Oh, I'm on the lock layer. See, good job I locked it. Um, I get that, which was sort of way too heavy and too small for what I wanted to do. Um, so I had to make my basically make my own um, pastel, and I've called it a super soft pastel. And it defaults at 400% for me. I'm using, um, I'm drawing on a A3 size um, canvas. So if I look at that, does that tell me the size? No, it doesn't. I suppose if I go to uh, resize canvas under edit, 
precise painting yeah it's nearly 5,000 pixels by 3,500 so it's quite quite a big canvas but I've uh, changed the size of this pastel to 400% and I've uh, messed about with a few other settings to make it a bit softer in fact I'm even going to go softer than that because I want the idea a little bit older. And another thing uh, with this, if I um, if you try and mix colours, it does some wonderful things. Not what you would expect. Now, when I'm using pastels, I like to keep that texture of the paper underneath. So let's see if I can manage that. So I'm working with sort of really neutral colors. Just grays and pastels. Because I want this to go slightly darker as I'm moving across the canvas. I'm wondering if I should put that drawing on the top. Uh, maybe I should. And I've got a couple of blenders that I've chosen. And this heavy blurred frosting, I can knock that up to say 300%. And that just sort of, it's like using a blending stump just to soften it a little bit a lot. Trying to create a bit of an evenness over this. That'll do. I'm going to swap these layers around if I can. That's it. Just so I can see the pencil work. Hi, Nelu. How are you doing? Uh, just take the eraser and get that out. So it's nice to be working on a, a sort of a dark ground instead of uh, the usual lighter one. And I could use the eraser, I guess, to lift some of this color out. I don't know. As if you could do this on an actual um, pastel drawing so much probably not right so I've got that in I'm going back to my super soft pastel again and I'm going to choose I can actually choose colors off the um, photo by using the alt key and then touching the photo and I can it colors off that if i take the softness down it means the pastel's harder and it doesn't put quite so much color on there that's a bit too light
I'm going to use, I'm going to kind of make a, a slightly darker color. And what I'm doing now, I'm just putting in what would be the twigs. I need to leave some areas of white. I'm surprised uh, at this, uh, at the pastels in this, to be honest, because I thought there was going to be better than this. And they're a little bit, um, not exactly what I was expecting. I've, I think the pastels in say, uh, Procreate. I know that's on the iPad, not the PC. Are better. I'm, I'm sort of mixing up the colours a bit to add a bit of interest to this. Soften that up a bit. Blending them colors together a little bit. That's weird. I didn't like that. That's almost like a, a wet in wet. It does say frosted though, I suppose. I'm, I'm going to leave that, I think. And I can undo it. That's it. Uh, back to my super soft pastel. Oh, I need to take some of the softness down. I just like... I'm just trying to get really light colors on here. And I'm picking colors off this, um, this color palette here. And I didn't set this up for this painting at all, really, to be honest. But I thought they looked, uh, they look about right for what I want. Notice I am sort of deviating from the photo quite a lot. And I want to come right low. So there's just the tiniest little bit of light underneath that. I think that's what I need. And then I didn't see these trees. I didn't draw them in. So I'm going to have to draw them in now. And I want to sort of... I want to say draw them in. I mean, I'm just drawing in the twigs. I have to say this is way more responsive though than um, Corel Painter from last week when I was sort of sitting and waiting for the brushes to uh, sort of change. If I picked a brush, I had to sit and wait for it, which was a, a bit of a pain. I love it when you just sort of get the a quick stroke on and you you know that you're nearly there you know that you don't have to, you're not going to have to do much more if you can stop yourself um fidgeting that is because I've been doing a lot of that today I've been sort of um 
drawing and then just I just kept going and going and going I need to uh, change the size of that a bit now uh, when I should have sort of stopped sort of an hour or so earlier that's a bit too much I'll just leave that for a little bit we'll come back to this sort of distant hills a bit can't see much on that thumbnail you know I'm just sort of uh, going with the flow really I just realized I, I was painting in the the fence and not the wall so this uh, kind of comes up quite a bit more up there doesn't it Yeah. It gets really nerve wracking, you know. Sort of, um, not daring to make a mistake. I just love sort of the way you can put colour on top of the colour and mix it up a bit. I do like pastels and I like digital pastels because if you've ever used real pastels, oh my god, the dust they make, uh, they, they're just so messy. And it kind of, and you wonder what damage you're doing to your lungs as well uh, when you use them. So it is nice to to do digital, and the only damage you're doing is just not getting any exercise, isn't it? Really, and not getting out there. Just sitting at a desk sketching all day. I can. Uh, bring that size down a bit now once i've got the big blocks of color in i'll, I'll you know i'll uh, won't be needing to make such big brushes and uh, i can size them up just by uh, clicking on the brush and it'll probably be the size i want I'm just getting all over the place here really I thought I'd do a little bit of that wall and I, I know I've not even looked at the tree the trees behind it yet so I've got to think about that and a little fence post in there look it's looking good I'm liking it now if I take the, the softness down even more and it will look like maybe just change the color slightly go off a bit yeah that's that's all right that's looking good happy with that don't fear mistakes i know i know it's just when people are watching, you know, it's totally different. Because usually, you know, you when you're um, sketching or painting or whatever, you're doing it on your own, aren't you? You're very isolated. You know, you don't usually do it with people watching you, unless uh, you're doing a demonstration at an art class or something like that, um, which I used to do quite a lot. So. 
shouldn't shouldn't be uh, too bothered really you're right I need to see what this picture is. I can't. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind mistakes like that because, you know. Oh, that's better. I can see what I'm doing now. Now, if I just move that sort of there, I can uh, sketch this in. And I can see, look, there's light over the top. Oh, and we've got a bit of a stone wall going up here as well. And there's a little bit of light over the top of that, just in the odd place, look. Are the lights catching those uh, stone walls? I love dry stone walls. I was really excited about going to Buxton and driving there. And uh, I was, because I, I live in uh, near, well, I, just outside of Derbyshire and Derbyshire is all dry stone walls and I just love it and uh, I used to go walk in there quite a lot and as I was driving up I was sort of um, getting really excited as the landscape was changing from red brick red brick houses to all these sort of stone buildings and little farmhouses and all these dry stone walls um, and then we went for a walk the first day and there wasn't a dry stone wall to be seen. We was going through this little wood and I was kind of a bit disheartened and, and a bit, um, you know, miffed that there weren't these dry stone walls. And then we come out the other side of the wood and this is what I saw and I was like, well chuffed because uh, that's kind of what I'd... We'd gone to see a concert. We'd gone to see a, a guy called Seth Lateman, but I was really into... Um, seeing the dry stone walls <laughs> it's sad i know but you know it's all about the art isn't it really hi harry how you doing oh i'm glad you like the portrait yeah i'm going to do some more i think i'm going to do a few look at different styles uh, or different methods i should say of um drawing portraits and uh try try a few more and see what i come up with and i'm also going to start looking i've decided i'm going to have a look at um doing uh, a little bit on anatomy but not so much anatomy where you like learning all the muscle groups and all that kind of thing i'm thinking more on the lines of um where i can pop a couple of figures in a, a street scene and they look they're not just standing there they actually look as though they are uh moving around and they've got a bit of uh action going off you know so i'm going to start uh looking at that and obviously i'll make a video of um what i come up with i must admit i'm liking this pastel i've made The only problem with this one is I've actually set it to 400%. So it's kind of set up for an initial painting. And then after that, it's uh, I probably should set something else up. So I might do that now, actually, and show you what I do. Uh, so I'll take my super soft pastel. And I, so I'm going to set it up now for say drawing these trees. So I'm going to just knock the, the size down to 100%. So that's about the right size. Um, I'll take the softness down a little bit. Maybe the pressure just. I'll take the pressure back down actually. 
yeah that's nice that's a nice look so i've got myself a brush there now so uh, if i remember rightly i can click on presets and uh, make a new preset and call this um I'm just going to put it in the pastel group and my other one's called super soft pastel i'm going to call this one medium size pastel okay so i can now save that and oh, i didn't put it in the um i could have added it to here while i was doing it so i'll go to the pastels which i've got down here uh, so my super soft pastel should be a uh, medium size pastel is there so i can choose that and then click on this arrow where it says medium size pastel under settings and put add to toolbox so that is now in my toolbox and if i move it under my super soft pastel i've now got two brushes that i can use uh by just clicking between one i've got this heavy uh sorry this super soft pastel that's set at 400 percent and i can get really uh big strokes in and then i can choose my medium size pastel straight away and uh oh why did that set to 400 i should have I sh let's do this again i'm going to delete this uh can i delete it how do i delete it Let's change it to 100% first of all. Can't, can't get. I don't know how to delete it. This is not a very good demo, is it? Anyway, let me show you again how to do it properly. I, I click on the uh, new. I've, I've got to make first of all a new preset. I wonder if I call it medium sized pastel, it will overwrite what I've already got, or if we call it two. Uh, medium size pastel okay so what i should have done was look store the size and add to toolbox so that will put it in the toolbox and it will default back to that uh 100 so let's click on that uh an item with the name medium size pastel already exists if you wish to replace it click replace i do Oh, that worked well redeem my demo so now i've got this medium sized brush so if i go back to that super soft one again that's at 400 percent and i choose my medium sized one and that's at 100 percent and i can make other uh, changes as well so now i can start um working on the branches of these trees with my new medium sized brush I'm just going to do kind of the main trunks, I think. There we go. I've missed a tree out somewhere. One, two, three. Yeah. That one should be closer to that. Sort of here. That's it, that's better. And I've got this one in here. Let 
I guess I can I'll just put this one in as well What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go back to my drawing layer, unlock it a minute, use the eraser, and just take out all of this stuff that I don't want. So far, all of this drawing has been done on one layer, so I think I'm going to create a new layer for actual painting now that's better right okay I'll lock that again now I might put it at the bottom of the stack now I've kind of done with it really so it doesn't matter if it's covered up too much although no I'm not I'm gonna put it back um, let's create a new layer and I'm just gonna work on these trees a little bit longer hiya TN how you doing Uh, I'm streaming with Streamlabs OBS. Uh, I try first of all. Uh, hi, Kerry. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. I'm stream uh, streaming with Streamlabs OBS. Uh, it's just done an update today, which freaked me out as well because that sort of changed all my settings. But it's a free bit of software, and uh, it's really really good. It's easy to use. You can have lots of different. Uh, Windows set up you can set up your mobile phone as a little controller to switch between different views and things so yeah um, I'm using that and uh, I'm really really liking it so uh, back to the painting um, on my new layer this palette's perfect I'm really glad that uh, this was here really Uh, it would help wouldn't it if i choose uh, um pastel so i'm using my medium soft pastel now i need to bring this a bit closer i think i'm sort of stretching Undo that. I could go in with a a bit of a a brown or a yellowy colour. Might look quite nice. Yeah, I think I can see those colours in there. I really do like pastel. I love the effect of pastels. And you know, with you starting on a coloured paper, it's almost like half your drawing's already done for you. Can overlay these colours. Just you know what? I haven't done once. I haven't saved this. And considering um, I've had a power cut today, once a day. That could be a big mistake. I um, did the audio for um, a video, got right to the end of it, and then I got a power cut, and it, I just lost the lot. I had to do it all again. That was a bit of a pain. It's all about painting shadows, isn't it? That, that's 
everything's about getting those shadows in. I'm really, I'm really getting into this. I'm enjoying it. So I need to make my brush much smaller. Oh, uh, before I do that, before I get start getting into this, I should flick these in. Now notice when see these tree trunks they are um all different heights and there's different gaps between them a common a mistake i see loads is this right people drawing the trees the same height and the same gaps between them and you know, unless they've been planted like that, uh, for you know, in a forestry or something, or in a garden, they're just not going to be like that. So you need to vary it up a little bit. You can put them in at different angles. Like that. Exactly, uh, TN, telephone poles. That's uh, what you've got to avoid, like the plague. And I'll take the softness down a lot, and the pressure and the size. Maybe the size a bit too much there. Now, I'm doing these. They look a bit, a bit naff, to be honest. But there's a reason for that. I'm going to. Uh, use my blurring brush. Let's go with this heavy blurred frosting again and just soften them off a bit. Smudge them out. And then um, use my super soft pastel that's probably going to be the right size take the softness um don't it down or down 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 that's it perfect and just put some more twigs on there Yeah, and then I can go back to my medium sized brush, sample that color, and uh, oh, I've gone too far, I've gone too far down. Kind of it wants to be sort of there, doesn't it?
uh yeah i am i am going to be doing some more uh paintings in the style of definitely uh, i'll be sort of thinking about that it was a a really fun series that i did i, I mean i only did 10 but, but um they were really good fun to do and uh, but they were really time consuming so I needed a, a break from them and I've kind of know which artist I'm going to do when I um, do another one kind of having lots of fun um, doing all these other things at the minute I might even it might be fun to do one as a, a live stream maybe each week I, that could be um, interesting Now that needs to go. That's it. And maybe medium pastel. Got to change the size of the brush. They're the same, aren't they? I've just done exactly what I kind of told you not to do. Yeah, I think that's looking all right. Whoops. So I can now start um, getting in these other branches. And I guess, you know, how far do you go with these? You can just sort of start with the thick ones and something else you've got to be careful of as well is um, doing branches that won't hold up or, or trunks that won't hold up the other branches that are hanging on it. For example, this one I've just done here is way too thin. It needs to be thicker than that. Um, even thicker than that to be honest try it at 100% yeah that's kind of better because it just wouldn't take the weight of everything else that I'm going to hang off it got this really kind of huge that's uh, I was going you know what I was doing then from a split second then I'd gone back into painting with real paint and I was trying to dab me paint into the keyboard my brush into the keyboard to get some paint on it I did it again what's happening that's how good these apps are getting isn't it
Yeah, that's cool. And now I'm going to vary up the color, obviously. I've sort of stopped looking at the drawing, at the photo. I'm just going with the flow, really, and putting in uh, trunks and branches just where I think they'd look all right. Kind of do that a lot. See, that to me looks way better, heavier like that. We go thinking about shadows all the time I'm, I'm getting to the point now where i'm just using the alt key to select colors i'm liking what i'm doing with the trees but i'm so leave i'm going to leave that just for a few seconds well no i'm not i'm just going to do a little bit a tiny bit more uh, but then i want to sort of deal with this area here that's sort of look, all looking a bit flat i like to um keep the old painting look looking like it's finished so you know at any one point i can stop and say yeah that's that's a finished painting i i don't i'm not one of these people that works on one tiny little bit till it's absolutely finished and then uh goes on to the next bit i i sort of jump all over the place I will come back in with some more twigs and things in in a bit. That's all right. I like the way they kind of wrap around each other, you know. So I want to do something with this if I can. So I probably need my super soft pastel. And I, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm going to go over that and then use the uh eraser to lift that out again. That's it. There we go. That to me um, just sort of adds a little bit of um, light, sh light and shade. Now that you can't really see any um, shadows off these trees, but I think I'm just going to a few in and I, I took a second then to look just to make sure that they were going in the right direction and they are because I've got this dark here look coming down this side of the tree 
so that means the shadows on this side so that shadow would obviously come down here like that for those trees and there would be one here as well wouldn't they i just think that adds ties those trees to the ground and it, and they look nice it looks nicer than um what we had there before so that's what i'm doing there i i know what you <laughs> I know what you mean when uh, you're on about sort of leaning back on a chair. You know, I used to be a painter and decorator years ago, and I used to love standing back and admiring my work. And so I'd paint a window, and then you know, I, I want me uh, sat down in a chair, I'd be up a ladder, <laughs> up a ladder or something, and uh, you got to risk the temptation to stand back and admire the gloss window that you've done. You know, or um, what you're on a scaffold uh some trellising or something like that i have fallen off trellising before um you know because you're just so into what you're doing and and admiring your own work right i think i need to uh, think about this wall now and start um making that look a little bit more wall-like I feel now you know that uh, the first few I mean this is my uh, eighth stream now and I'm beginning to feel now that the drawings I'm doing are actually all right you know they're they're looking off decent the first few were definitely well dodgy and uh, uh, not really up to to scratch because I, I i was like under the pressure from um setting up all this equipment remembering what to press with the um you know on the making sure that all the i'm on the right screen and can you hear me okay and i'm not getting any echo and stuff like that and, and then using the software as well, because I hadn't been using PC software for quite a while. I was really into um, everything being done mostly on the iPad. So I was sort of getting back into the PC software and look, remembering to look at the camera and all of that. So I was doing all of that uh, and, you know, obviously not putting 100% concentration into the... Uh, painting I was doing and I was not really uh, too enamored with uh, what I did for the first few the first maybe four or five probably uh, videos I, I thought they were all right but there weren't nothing that I would I was too uh, proud of if you know what I mean but now I, I think I've I've kind of got that uh, sorted now, and I know I'm, I'm feeling a lot comfier with the software. I'm feeling I, I'm really enjoying using Art Rage, uh, but I am trying trying to look to set up my iPad to do a live stream on an iPad. I think would be quite good. But I, I I feel that I'm concentrating on the drawing. You know, I can every now and again I remember to look at the chat and stuff. Initially, I was sort of stressing out about that and everything. And um, yeah, I just feel now it's it's a much more enjoyable experience than it was in the the first couple when I was absolutely cacking myself really. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I think this is coming on all right. I'm liking the wall. I think that's looking okay.
Uh, I need to do something now with the foreground, I think, just to um, make that work. So I'm going in with my, oh, I've got the super, super soft pastel, but I'll set it to 400%. I'll choose a dark green and just see if I can, it might be too much. Yeah, that's, I think that's all right. I'm going to create a new layer because I want to uh, put some color on and then use the eraser to sort of lift it out. I suppose I could put some sort of uh, tufts of grass in that. And this is all being done with the uh, eraser, like I said. Yeah. That's cool. I'm not 100% convinced about that bit, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. See where I go with it. Change the brush up a bit. Yeah. All else fails, do a little bit of blending, see what that, how that works. I think I need more colour in it. I think that's what's... I don't want to touch the wall bit though. Just get lots of uh, bits of writing. Ooh, that's a bit much. Yeah. That's better. I think it just needed lots of um, different textures and colors and, and things. Um, 
That's going to be too too big now. I like that bit of blue in there as well. I thought that was that adds something to it. So totally like nothing like what's going off on the photo. But that's the whole point, isn't it? We're making trying to make a piece of art, not copy a photograph. That's not what uh, you you want to be doing at all, really. I wonder if I could just get a bit of yellow. I'm just playing here really and I do this a lot you know I kind of go in and mess around and you know when you see the um, speeded up versions it all looks as though it's really been planned out really well and it's not quite a lot of the time I'm just doing what I'm doing now where I'm having a little bit of an experiment what I could do now in actual fact is take this color look and bring it up into the wall And that'll look quite good. That'll sort of tie that all in. So it's part of it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. I'm happy, pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm going in with my super soft 400% brush again. And I'm going to just sweep a few strokes in here. And down there. Mix up the color a bit. Try and keep the, I'm trying to keep these a little more subdued than the colors I've got here. In fact, if I Pull that colour up, pop some of that in there. That won't go amiss, I don't think. Yeah, that's it. Maybe even lighten it up a little bit. Oh, little bit, little bit too much. Still too much. Let's take the softness down. I quite like. That's it. That's better. You got it with these pastel brushes. You have to kind of get a sweep in there. Uh, and and not just sort of if you, if you just touch it you get like a little blob and it looks really artificial what is nice about this is you can sort of build up the colors and um keep that it the texture underneath it looks it still looks good And I lost that dark bit, haven't I? Which I, I quite like that. I've sort of reversed the um, color there. That's like coming out of the gate. Just blending in different colors. 
little strokes. I'm going to try a different brush actually. I'm going to try a heavy pastel just to see. I've, I've learned this week that you know, don't just keep sticking with um, one brush all the time, mix it up a bit. And yeah, I, that's cool. I like that. That's actually working. Wow, Harry, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, you are the first person ever to um, make a don donation in the um, top chat. So that is really appreciated thanks a lot now this is i i i know why i'm not using this brush now um look look at the weird effect it has on these colors it's sort of it, well actually it's just blending them isn't it maybe it's not such a weird effect at all actually um i'll just i'll just um change the color slightly Yeah, I needed a bit of detail, I think, in this foreground. So I can um, select that, say, that colour. Lock it down a bit. Use my blender just to soften it off at the edges a little bit. I've been doing a lot of blending today because I was using um, oh I was using uh, Tessui sketches, and I was doing this really um, well. I thought it was a nice little watercolor. There we are. I kind of think that's all right. I kind of think it's okay. And if that's too bright, if I've gone too bright there. Smudge that out the way a bit. I noticed that I just spotted this little bit of green down here, and I picked that up. I thought, yeah, I like that. It's not not the same. It's less yellow in it and that adds to it yeah I can't believe I've had more trouble with the foreground than um, than all the rest of the piece but I think it's coming it's getting there it's getting there right now I'm gonna um, 
make my brush much much smaller Start putting some of this uh, detail back into the wall. Maybe just sort of sketching a little bit of sort of grass creeping up the edge of the wall there. Yeah, that's it. That'll, that's okay. I need to just zoom into the picture a little bit because I want to put this uh, gate in. So I'm going to put some of it in dark, like these pieces that I'm sketching now. And then I'm going to change to a much lighter colour the top part. Like that. go and I suppose I could in actual fact um, do the shutter thing Thinking I might need another another layer. I'm going to create a new layer now because it's beginning to feel a little bit muddy as I'm working. We've got this other bench here as well. that's a bit a bit thick you know what i haven't zoomed in on this picture once have i Let, let's zoom in to do this bit That to me looks like a fen uh, a bench. I think that's a pretty top bench. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. My gate's the wrong shape, isn't it? It needs to um, be long. I wonder if I can. I create a new layer underneath that. I think I did. Let's see if I can just rub out the side of it a bit. Oh, um, maybe use the blender. Just to get rid of that post there. And then I can make it a little bit longer. That's better. And I'm going to change the color of that a little bit. 
it does need to be lighter and sort of tuck the gate is that gate massive now <laughs> that means I've got to uh, make my wall a bit higher perhaps and or the bottom of the gate that's it the bottom of the gates too low so let's lose that Let's lose uh, this bit. You can't have a giant gate, can you? It would look ridiculous. I think that goes right down to that bottom layer. Maybe that one. No. Let's just um, that color on there. That's it, go back to this layer and start again. So the wall can kind of go along there like that. That's better. Yeah, I think. Oh, I see what you know what sometimes you need to look at the photo I'm getting the um, perspective wrong the gate actually kind of opens like that a little bit I've exaggerated it now but I need to uh, for my painting as it were Yeah, sort of like that. That's better. Got there. Whew. So I think I can now work on the trees a bit more. So um, just choose a that color. Oops, don't want to be doing that. And then let's just get some of these branches in. We are. I suppose I could sort of go on forever. Um, but what I really want to do is, you know, you, you can just keep painting branches and branches and branches and branches. And, you know, you could be here all night and some people do that and that's their style. But that really doesn't work for me. So I'm going to create a new layer. And what works for me is uh, when I paint like a thousand branches in one one fell swoop like this. And mix with that color a bit. And have the, all those little branches hanging off there, like that. See you, Jane. Bye. Thanks for dropping in. And 
And that to me is the way to draw the twigs and things. It's much more productive, let's say. And then when you've sort of got where you want with those, what I need to do now is just lift out a few of these highlights. So I select the um, sky color, make the brush size about maybe two hundred percent. And just start. putting some holes back in the uh, back in the trees be careful with this bit though I think I've overdone it. So I wonder how many undos I've got. What I should have done there is create a new layer. And if I don't like it, I can get it out. I just went completely over the top then. That was just way too much. And I'm sort of concentrating on getting the edges of these trees a bit more defined. I think that's looking better. Yeah, I can, and then I can just soften them off it a little bit if I want. Back to my medium brush, let's get some dark color out a little bit. There we go and then i guess i could put a few highlights in just by choosing a pencil uh, let's go in with a shading pencil and a really light creamy color 
Right now, um, let's I want a make this make the softness much more defined. I need to get in a bit closer to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't think that's going to cut it actually. Let's try um, heavy crayon. So, oh, that's nice. That's it's too big, but it's nice. That's, um, that's better. And I just want to get a few highlights. Really make it pop a little bit. So I can um, zoom out a bit now. Just knock it down a little bit for I'm still putting highlights in but I want them to be not as bright as these in in the foreground here maybe even a few could do a few over the branches perhaps too much on that one that's it, just turn that back to there. They're all kind of going the same way, aren't they? And doing the same thing. So let's get rid of some of them. I've looking at that, I was thinking maybe I should do some dark ones as well. Don't know if those lighter ones worked actually. Um, did I put them on a separate layer? Yeah, I did. Good. I can get rid of them. I like the light on the wall, but not. What was I using? Was it the solid pastel? I think it was. Yeah, there we go. Then what's happened to that bit? Can I get rid? See if I can undo some of this. Do it this way. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. A bit thicker. I just felt like it just needed a few, just a few branches. It was all a bit too soft. Don't like that. Too light. Better.
and a dark a few dark ones coming down here this is getting close to being finished now yeah that's it that's what we want um that bit off a little bit use my medium sized pastel just chew just going to pick up a, a light color a little bit and just pop that in there There we go. Um, I think that is pretty much it. I could keep going, putting branches in, I suppose, but um, don't know if it's going to add any more. I'm not. Let me just have a quick look at uh, the old overall effect. I don't know what I was doing then. Move that down there a little bit. Thanks, Nalu. Glad you like it. I'm thinking I'm this yellow here is not right. I've got to um, resolve that. And I think what I need to do is cover it, cover it up. <laughs> The, the rest of the painting is all these nice muted colors and i felt that that was uh it's looking better already that that was just too too vivid oh what's happening i wonder if i've done an i hope i've done you know what i haven't saved this let's save it I think that uh, went back a few stages and um, did an undo. Well, it clearly did. Right, let's try again. I, I want to believe that this foreground was going to give me all of the headaches and the rest of it was going to be fairly straightforward plain sailing. I'm just trying to um, do a few simple strokes that are following the contours of the ground and I want really sort of subtle changes in color nothing like really that's it that's better Yeah, that's better. 
I, I like that much better. So there we are. It could have been auto save, uh, watch it, but I think it, it did an undo to be honest. I have to say these aren't the best pastels I've used. Uh, Procreate is way better and I've got a feeling Corel Painter is as well. So I'm going to have a little play around with them and see these seem a bit clunky to be honest. You don't seem to get when you lift the um, brush off the page it doesn't sort of um change the how much uh, pastels being laid down or um you know you, or how thick the stroke is or thin the stroke it's all a bit it's all a bit just clunky it just feels a bit i suppose when you use a pastel you just get a a square shape don't you when you draw with a pastel maybe that's what we're trying to achieve can't resist to just sort of touch and fiddle and you know soften off and blend and smudge I think that's better. So I've gone from this sort of vivid, bright green to a much more subdued look there. And I think it's way better. And I hope you guys do as well. I think that's it. I think I've done it. I think I've finished. Oh, I don't know that it is. There's always something to tweak, isn't there? There's always something just to. In actual fact, I could uh, define those trees. That's it. I kind of like that smudginess of them. I do like that actually. Stop it. Stop it. I've finished. I have finished. I'm just going to sign it. There we go then, guys. That is my um, pastel drawing of um, a landscape in Buxton. And it was really cold and windy, but I really loved it. I may look at this tomorrow and tweak it a little bit i don't know so um we'll see we'll see but thank you all so much for joining me tonight um it's always great to have, have you here and it's sort of it's a real big boost and i feel like the channel has got a bit of a community going now uh, which i'm really liking and enjoying so thanks a lot again and um so no pressure sensitivity to lie with us. No, Nalu, no, there isn't. There's no, the, the, there's no, it doesn't feel like you've got that pressure sensitivity with oils. I was struggling with the brushes. I'm not trying to make excuses or anything, but the, they didn't feel the best uh, brushes I've ever used. I may even have a go at making my own brushes, who knows, and then I'll put them on 
um, on my website like I uh, normally do. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much uh, for joining me. Harry, thanks a lot. And um, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Bye. Thank you.